So you guys voted for it, so here it is. It is a yours clothing haul, and we're checking out what is new in. It's Becky and welcome to my channel. I do plus size fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos. If that floats your boat, if that sounds like your cup of tea, then you know what to do. You know what to do. You need to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment what your favorite piece of clothing was in this haul. I'm always super curious. I always like to know. So yeah, let me know. <laughs> I do upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday and sometimes, just sometimes, there's a little cheeky bonus video. Hasn't been a couple recently because life has been hectic. Um, but I will be, I'm trying to get back into my filming schedule. Um, but if you want to see a little bit more of this face, you can follow me at Instagram, that's where I'm probably most active. I do like to post um, a Love Island meme, a poll. I posted a poll about this haul um, and I'm on Like To Know app for shopping and TikTok, which I'm rubbish at. Um, that's all at Becca Wren. And just so you know, just to be 100% transparent, uh, all my links in the description box are affiliated. So that means if you decide to click through uh, my links to pick up an item, uh, I do get a small kickback from the brand. Obviously that doesn't affect the price for you, um, but it just gives me a little bit of support for my channel. So obviously, uh, super, super appreciate it. If you do fancy picking anything up, if you would use my links in the description box, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, I think that's all, all the announcements I have to give you. Um, so let's get on to this quite fabulous uh, Yours Clothing haul. So uh, for this haul, our summer's been shit. <laughs> I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's been shit. And um, I'm just I'm just ready for autumn as you can see uh, so the clothes I picked out I'm thinking are kind of um, transitional a little bit of a transitional moment you might be able to wear it now um, but also you might be able to kind of like layer it up a little bit in autumn going into winter um, so that's my thinking because there was a lot of really cute kind of like autumn vibes things coming on the website um, so yeah I've got something super I'll see if this is this is from new look um i love a square neckline um i love the color as well i just feel like i i'm literally a pumpkin spice latte in human form um <laughs> in this dress i'll see if it's still linked below but i feel like it's from like last year but i'll have a look i'll have a look oh my good to you guys uh, anyway anyway let's get into this massive bag so let's start up with something that i do think is super super transitional um so this is a dress <laughs> it's a gorgeous little khaki dress let me get it out of the bag for you this feels insanely soft <laughs> i love it it feels like it feels really nice it's kind of like um it's got, it's kind of peasant vibes it's kind of cheese cloffy which i really love um so anyway saw this on the website it also comes in a rusty orange color um but i just thought go for something a little bit more unique maybe i do think a khaki like a khaki floor is quite unique but also super super pretty especially you've got like auburn or like brown like chestnut brunette hair maybe i don't know just thinking uh, <laughs> but anyway i got this maxi it is a maxi by the looks of things we'll see where it falls i am five six um so yeah just so you know so we have got kind of like a little bit of like a peasant neckline it does seem to be tied quite tightly ah oh, okay i've released the neckline does it think it you're you're like learning along <laughs> with me as we go no it doesn't really like give it much more so i'm guessing it's not going to be off the shoulder i'll have a look on the website before we'll try on for you guys um but anyway so we've got kind of like a peasant-y toppy neckline thing then we've got a little smocked 
waistline to give us some definition and then we've got beautiful skirt we have got some tears which i know some people like some people don't like um i don't mind them as long as they're not tight as long as they're not suffocating my tummy um the one thing that i do find kind of strange with yours is they're like double sizing like i had to get this in a 22 24 but i'd much rather it be 24 26 but it's 26 28 and i feel like that would be too big on me so i went for a 22 24 but then i guess we'll learn together if i pick the right size and then you guys can see what size you should go for um just for this was just so pretty really really transitional imagine this with some white birkenstocks on like a hot day like it's hot oh so hot and then you could wear this with some like brown like knee-high boots or not even knee-high they could just be like ankle boots um a coat or like a denim jacket over the top of it maybe like a little fedora hat or something for autumn uh -huh. how stunning very transitional i feel like khaki colors are like super like super autumnal super autumnal um so this is a hundred percent viscose um so that's very cool um yeah i think it's really pretty i'm gonna stop going on about now and we're gonna try it on because this, this intro is gonna be enormous so this is really really nice it fits really well actually i feel like um sometimes with maxi dresses they can kind of swamp you a little bit and you kind of look like just a big tent where because of this waist being defined i think it looks really nice and also the skirt's not too big um, but it's also not tight at all i did worry with these tears we've had some tear issues tears sometimes give us tears um <laughs> but it's not touching the belly line at all um <laughs> it is nice i know it's expensive I know it's expensive, but transitional mum, isn't it? Definitely. I was just about to say, is that the sort of thing you could maybe wear into autumn? Mm, definitely. Because yeah, it's, it's quite a light material because apparently there's a heat wave going to come. And I'm like, where? <laughs> <laughs> but so it's very like lightweight for the summer. But I say if you put a little denim jacket, leather jacket, some boots underneath for autumn. And you can wear like tights and stuff underneath just to add some layers. That would look so nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Um, so let me show you the material up close. It's kind of like peasanty. It's giving me like peasant, country, cheesecloth yeah. vibes. Yeah. Very soft. It's got a nice elasticated, oh, sort of yeah, we've got sheared waist there. Yeah. We? yeah, really nice. And then we have a little mock, so you can either leave it hanging or you can tie it up um it's i don't think this is meant to be off the shoulder i think you could if you really wanted to mm. and i think it actually sits better up yeah. they also did this in like a rusty terracotta color um i just went for the khaki because i thought it was a bit different um but yeah really beautiful definitely maxi on me i'm five six um so yeah I think if you weigh five five, five four, you might get away with it. Um, and if you're taller, obviously it's gonna be a bit more of like a mid-axi. Um, but I think that'll still look really pretty. Lovely. So I did pick up some jeans. I did pick up some jeans. I do like, whenever I pick up some tops, I always just think, let's try some jeans. Because you know what, you might, you might um, well, you, me, myself, I might as well try on some trousers for you guys um i used to buy yours jeans a while ago actually when um before i did youtube because it was the only place you could buy jeans in town um, i always struggled with jeans i honestly did well i think we've all struggled with jeans don't we uh thing i found really great they had leg length leg length for, for the fat folk oh aren't we lucky um yeah hardly anywhere does um short regular and tall leg length so really love that um and i think that's on most of their kind of like core range so like all the skinny jeans maybe it's a couple of like the flares and stuff if it's more of kind of like um a seasonal denim piece i think they just stick to regular length but for their like core denim it looked like they did that so i actually 
I actually got a short, I got a 28 because, because I've got little short legs and a big long fat torso. <laughs> my belly makes my torso longer and my legs aren't that long. I don't know, I just prefer a short. And also like, I like my denim to hit kind of at my ankle. Um, and I don't like all the wrinkly at my trainer. So I always run my jeeps. Oh my God, why am I telling you my life story? Uh, <laughs> anyway, I did get these in a 26. Um, I have put on a little bit of a weight. So I'm probably more of a 26 on my bottoms now, to be honest. Um, unless it's like a dress or a top, I'm 24 on top. Um, so I thought I'd just go for the 26 because I think I am a bit of a 26 at the moment. Um, <laughs> but I'm not gonna update my bloody description box. I will not do it. <laughs> So I got a 26 in the jeans, really nice, really stretchy, um, feel like really nice quality as well. I'm really impressed. Um, and as I said, I got them in a 28 leg length. Um, I will say yours is definitely like one of the more expensive plus size places, but they do do like a huge range of sizes. I think they're probably the most inclusive size range out there. Um, so I guess you like paying for that, to be honest. Um, but the quality is really, really nice. Uh, these are the Ava skinnies. They're super stretch, mid-rise. And there's five pockets, not three, not four, but five pockets. Um, so that's great. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I think, oh, very dark label. Uh, these are 76% cotton, 22% polyester, 2% elastane. That's what you're going to get with a stretch denim. That's what makes them comfortable. Um, really excited to try these on. It's so nice to find a good pair of jeans, isn't it, ladies? So, uh, yeah. Oh, and let me show you a top that I'm going to put them with because that was why I picked up the jeans to begin with. I picked up three tops, guys. I really like this top. I feel like a lot of people will like this. Actually, ooh, that's a loud sound. Um, it reminds me a lot of this brand. Oh my god, my head on um, It reminds me a lot of this brand that my mum loves called Sea Salt. And we actually did a little video together. Um, talking about it's got a very like specific like it's it's does designed in Cornwall, so it's kind of got like beachy earthy vibes, a bit fat facey. Um, and this kind of reminded me of the brand, but it's, it's, it's a bit cheaper. It's a little bit cheaper. Sea salt is kind of a little, you know, it's like a treat yourself moment. Um, this, oh my God, I love this. This is so cute. And I thought with the blue denim with this like really pretty blue floral, uh, the wrap detail is always, always really flattering. And <laughs> who doesn't love a peplum? Like peplums are, per are perfect for your period. It's when you're feeling a little bit grotty and you want to look cute, but you feel like rubbish. You put on a peplum, Put on a peplum when you're on your period and you feel good. It perks you up. It's a perk you up peplum. Why am I coming out with all this rubbish today? Um, we've got some really cute big sleeves. We've got a little uh, fake tie detail, but that's just cute, isn't it? It's just a cute little detail. And this this material, guys, so stretchy. Like, mmm. This also could be a really comfortable office top. This would look lovely with a pair of black trousers, if that's what you have to wear. Black trousers and a nice blouse. This could be a great little option. Um, and I love the print. I feel like a lot of you guys will like this print. It is floral, but it's not too floral. You know what I mean? Um, I did, what size did I get you in? A 24. I feel like it's very generous 24 actually, because it is quite stretchy. Uh, so if they haven't got your size and they've got signs down, and so you still try it. Uh, this is 95% polyester and 5% elastane. Super, super comfortable. I think it will wash really well. And this is part of their limited collection. I do like a I think that dress was from the limited collection as well. I feel like their limited collection does skew a little bit trendier, a little bit younger. Um, I am very young myself at 27 years old. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think that will look so cute with the jeans. What do you think? So mum loves this outfit. I knew she'd love this top because it kind of gives me sea salt vibes. Um, so what, let's talk about the jeans first. These jeans are super, super comfortable. I'm really glad I did get them in the 28 leg though because they are at my 
ankle, almost like still a bit long. I do have shorter legs, even though I'm five six. My top half just is longer. Um, so yeah, I think I potentially as well could have got a 24 in the jeans. They are super stretchy and with super stretch denim, I do tend to find they do like stretch out even more as well. So I recommend maybe sticking with like your actual, or maybe even like your smaller size. Um, I don't really fit 24s at the bottom anymore. Uh, but these, I think I could get definitely in a 24. Um, love the wash of the denim as well. Just fits really, really nicely. Um, skinny jeans are just the one, aren't they? Like they're all, they always look good. Um, yeah, I think these are like kind of like their core skinny jean range as well. So always in stock. I have the different leg lengths. Um, also like loads of different sizes. So really like these. Highly recommend for it. Really good. Um, and then for this top, this top's just like nice. This is a this is a nice top and jeans outfit. It's really really comfortable. Super super flattering. Um, and sometimes you just want to wear something that just like looks flattering like there's nothing wrong with that um and yeah everyone loves a peplum everyone loves a bit of a fit and flare moment this is just comfortable it's got quite a stretchy almost like sea suckery material do you want to touch it mum well no i'm just if you just go down a bit you can... <laughs> it's really hard oh to... my gosh so show your cleavage oh okay no i, I like the bit here it just sort of the ruchings. Well, I don't know, it's the, the gathers or what do you call it? Oh my god. Gathering. Just looks and you've nice. got little bar, little bow. Um it's just really comfortable. Um it is it is quite roomy. If you've got a bigger bust, this could be really good. If they don't have your size, I think you could size down and you'd be fine. Uh really pretty, can't recommend it enough. Nice. <laughs> so of course we've got another dress. Um this well, that's really expensive. Um, I picked out a lot of expensive things. <laughs> I was like looking at the, the cart total at the end and I was just like, oh, oh it does, oh, this is nice. Oh gosh, uh, <laughs> this is nice. It feels really nice quality. Um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of expensive. This is from a new collection. I'm gonna put it on the screen now. It's like, I feel like it's called like the Yours Bougie Collection because everything was like five pounds more expensive than it should be. Um, but I think it was called like Unedited or something, which I find kind of odd because it it is an edit. <laughs> but I think it's just kind of more fashion forward, sophisticated, uh, plus size clothing options. Um, some really nice pieces actually picked up like quite a bit from this haul from that collection because it's just a bit of me it's just a bit of me um so i picked this up and it is this gorgeous quite fitted polka dot dress i don't actually own a lot of polka dot i own one dress that's polka dot which is surprising because i feel like polka dot's quite a popular plus size pattern <laughs> how many piece <laughs> popular polka dots Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be tuning out. <laughs> so I got this in a 26-28 because it is a little bit more form-fitting and I do not regret my decision. Looking at it now, it's a little bit... Um, which is nice though, it's a silhouette we don't see a lot. We do see a lot of um, skater dresses, which I do like. I do like a fit and flare. Um, but I do think a little bit more... Uh, form fitting stuff can be really nice just as long as it's just not too tight personally and obviously we do have some buttons these are gorgeous gorgeous little pearly buttons um beautiful we have kind of like some little flowy capped sleeves and then we have a little bit of smocking on both sides interesting thing is it's not all the way around it's just on the sides which i think is actually going to make it look super super sophisticated and gorgeous just hoping because these are real buttons that we have no pulling and that's another reason why i sized up it wasn't a, it's not a stretch fabric it's a stretched not a stretch fabric get my words out um 
so uh, you know i always kind of keep these things in mind when i am doing shopping and at the end of the day as my mum always told me it's not the size on the label that people see it's the, the clothes they see on you that they see and if it looks nice and you've have to size up nobody's gonna know everyone's just gonna be going oh you look gorgeous you look gorgeous uh, so <laughs> it's what i always i used to work at next and that's what i always used to tell people because you see people try and squeeze into a size that they wanted to be and it doesn't look good. You know, you can always tell when something, and you don't want someone to waste their money on something. This is me trying to find a bloody label. The last thing you want is someone to spend their money on something just because they're desperate to fit in something of a certain size rather than actually, you know, getting it because it, you know, suits their figure body etc and uh, so i always used to make some people listen to me some people didn't <laughs> uh this is a hundred percent viscose wash inside out um does feel like a really nice quality piece let's see if it's worth that slightly pricey price tag so guys this is absolutely lovely um i did get it in a 26 28 and here's my thinking um so it is quite big and loose on me but these buttons are real and I'm kind of seeing this as a dress that I would um, go to work in or go to a nice million and I will be sitting down and the last thing you want is to sit down and all your belly out <laughs> the buttons the last thing you want is your belly button staring at your bus in the boardroom <laughs> we went up a size and I think that's quite a good life tip <laughs> um, but this dress I think looks really beautiful really flattering um, loving how the like stretch panels are kind of just on the side so it's not all the way around um, especially for a more maybe like corporate environment um, I think this looks quite expensive because you don't have that because i think it does sometimes cue fast fashion that little kind of like smocked band and nothing wrong with that i literally own fifty thousand dresses with that kind of thing and um, but i just think this is just very elevated um especially for yours i really love it and um, the buttons are these gorgeous pearly buttons really nice material is really lovely and soft do you wonder how this would wash in terms of ironing because i hate ironing <laughs> mum's laughing um also just really like this dress because it's not again it's not super flare um it does kind of hug my kind of curves a little bit more it's a little bit more um, a line rather than fit and flare, which I really like as well. It's just a bit different and it gives um, you a nice silhouette, I think. Yeah, it's just not too, it's not making me bigger. Mm. Um, and also a lovely length, I feel like, again, quite transitional. Because wear this now with some nice sandals or you know, even like kind of like heely things. <laughs> um, but also, <laughs> heels, I never wear heels. Um, but also in the winter, I know a big thing in London, I don't know if this is just a London thing. But a lot of the girls in the offices will wear a nice dress like this and trainers. It's a weird, it's a phenomenon. Do you think phenomenon. it's because they're walking a lot, like going oh, yeah. on the tube and, also, and like, having to know, walk to the office? Things or... have changed. You don't have to wear suits and heels in, you know, skirt, mm. you know, pencil skirts and stuff. Um, but it is this kind of trend of wearing like a really like floral feminine dress and then pairing it with some like trainers. Mm. Um, but it's like a look. Oh, right. As well as practical and comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I feel like you could really do that with this dress. Uh, denim jacket I love. Um, like monochromes with blue. So nice little denim jacket I think would look really nice over. Oh, <coughs> but also, I'm not going to stop talking about this dress. <laughs> but also I think perfect for like occasions and stuff. It looks uh, quite tailored, quite smart. And yeah, if you haven't guessed, uh, we quite like it. We are fans. Uh, so I think worth the money. <laughs> so another toppy top you see what we're doing here top dress top dress top top dress <laughs> a glitzy autumnal uh, again this was in this unedited edit <laughs> so hypocritical <laughs> um oh, 
this is beautiful this is lovely um again as you can see we've got a bit of like this is kind of like muted pinky browny orangey tones it's kind of like you can kind of like see a trend of things that i really like and um, but i just think it's flattering uh i do like to show things that are different on my channel but I also like to show things that make me feel pretty. <laughs> um, and I think, again, with blue jeans, blue jeans and like pink, mm, stunning. I think this will look lovely with those blue jeans. Um, so yeah, nice square neckline. Then you've got this gorgeous, like really nice little eyelet detail around the front. That's just on the front though, not the back. Feels really nice quality again. Again, could be quite a nice little um, work top just trying to get your money's worth you know you want something that you can wear in multiple places because as i said yours is not the cheapest place on the high street um but yeah it just feels like really nice quality long sleeves i think you could probably get away with this wearing it in the evenings now but this is definitely going to sing in autumn and you could definitely wear it more in like the winter time as well but this blue jeans brown boots oh oh my gosh i'm so excited for autumn uh this is definitely man made material no doubt about it i got this in a 24. oh sorry oh, yeah found some extra material i think probably quite choose the size i'm thinking um we'll find out and uh da, 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 100 viscose again this is the 100 viscose haul <laughs> uh but yeah let's try this on um I think I'll need to pick up a little pumpkin spice latte when they come out. Finally, I'll be the first in line. Um, so here is this blouse and it's just streaming autumn. And um, it fits really, really nicely for 24. Definitely stick with your normal size. Um, I was maybe slightly concerned that it was gonna be tight around here. And uh, it's not that tight when you like sit down, um, but I wouldn't go any smaller than your regular size. And I did just kind of have to like, shimmy it over just slightly just to get all the way down very surprised about the length and i think a lot of us will enjoy the length uh, it's often really hard to find particularly like blouses and like cute tops that do give you just that little bit extra um, i think it looks really nice with the blue jeans i just think this would be such a nice autumn piece here's a close-up of the fabric very very pretty you've got an elasticated cuff and then you've got some white eyelet detail here and a lovely square neckline i love a square neckline um i do think that maybe perhaps a little brown belt might be kind of cute just to give you a little bit of definition in the waist i would like a little definition perhaps um but yeah i think this is a really nice uh, blouse especially for autumn i think you could kind of style it lots of different ways so yeah here's the back thank you so as promised we have another dress this is heavy this is really heavy so i know you guys are gonna get sick of me saying this but this was also in the edit <laughs> um i think they are promoting it quite a lot on their instagram i think i saw this in some like campaign pieces and I thought it was stunning. Um, I thought very different as well for like a yours piece. Um, so it's this beautiful muted rose and terracotta print. And I thought the colour palette was very, very sophisticated. Again, we've got some quite sophisticated pieces in this haul. Um, and I thought the print was very, very sophisticated as well. Let me... It's like um, a paisley really really beautiful um and a v a neckline if it's a square if it's a v i'm buying it <laughs> i love it i just hit myself in the face with the bloody tag um i just thought this was beautiful again this was quite expensive um oh but it's got real buttons on the cuffs that's nice that's a nice sign of quality and i think we also need to bear in mind when we say that yours clothing is expensive, I think this dress was £45. And I know what you're thinking at home, you're thinking, that is so expensive. And it, it, it's definitely, you know, it's a few bob. But when you start thinking about other shops that don't carry plus size as well as yours does, M&S, Next, um, 
you would easily find a dress in there for 45 pounds like i've got a dress in there that was from uh peruna and that was 45 pounds and i didn't really bat an eye at it um so really when you can kind of consider that i feel like it is kind of reasonably priced especially when they're doing stuff like the button sleeve rather than the elasticated sleeve you know stuff like this does cost a bit extra the button's really nice it matches really really nicely and you know what guys we deserve quality too you know just because we're plus size doesn't mean we can't have options out there that are more quality but do cost a little bit more so always bear that in mind you know if you can treat yourself a little bit more why not and i'm thinking i'm gonna treat myself uh, so this is a beautiful maxi dress have we got like a tear no tears just straight down and there's so much beautiful fabric again thought this was quite transitional um i think as we get kind of like into some of it it's kind of cooling down a bit it already is cooling down a bit thought this would be really really cute with some nice little sandals um but autumn baby autumn brown boots brown little ankle boots or knee boots whatever boots a denim jacket like blue denim and pink man mm. they also have this in another color i'll pop it on the screen give myself another job to do i'll pop it here um i'll link that down below as well if you're not into the pink got this in a 24 and this is 100 viscose <laughs> it's like a rolling joke isn't it but I do really like this. I really like this. And I can't wait to try it on. It's another, I nearly said the F word. It's another bloody gorgeous dress. <laughs> it's so nice. Obviously this one is a bit more smocky and the last two have been a little bit more, not figure hugging, but this one is a bit more, I guess, forgiving, a bit more floaty. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the V-neck. I think that's so flattering. Um, and sophisticated, I'm loving this line. Um, the cuffs fit really nicely. Sometimes, we've all probably discovered this, they think our arms are the size of a mortadella, and that is not the case. <laughs> um, so they have done quite nicely fitted cuffs. Um, they're not tight though, and there's definitely a little bit of wriggle room if you do have a wider wrist. I do have quite fit wrists myself though, so I feel like you'd be okay, um, but they're, they're not huge. <laughs> Sometimes they're like gaping, you've got like a wind tunnel going on there. Um, this fits really nicely, uh, it was really easy to get on. I don't know if there is, is there a button in the back? No, it's just a straight over your head job. Um, would say being 5'6 again though, I am like the perfect height for it. Um, it is literally just coming at my ankle, perfect maxi length as hopefully you can see. Um, again, if you're five, 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 four, I think you're still gonna be okay because it is definitely at my ankle. Um, and again, if you're taller, it will be like a mid -axi. But because there's like no tears or anything, I think if you are shorter, um, it's quite a, probably quite an easy sole for a stream seamstress or yourself if you have a sewing machine. Um, here is a close-up of the print. Again, I think they did this in another colourway, potentially green, um, but just absolutely stunning. So different. So What's the fabric, is it? I think everything was a viscose. Yeah, yeah. I think we had a lot of viscose in this haul. Yeah. Um, and then one thing I really loved, just the small details. This button just matches so well. Mm. Mm. Yes. And it's a it's a real button cuff. It's mm. not elasticated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, really like it. Sized really well. Huge thumbs up. So the penultimate item, look at me using my big words. Um, this is just a nice black and white top. I'm a sp <laughs> I do think yours do a lot of florals. I'm noticing that now everything is a floral but that's okay because florals are pretty um and they're all different they're all different florals um okay. i just thought this was nice <laughs> um i do think black and white is a very chic moment and also if you've got like a bold trouser 
if you've got a pair of red trousers, a pair of pink trousers, you know, something really active. You bought them a couple of years ago and you're like, why don't I buy them? You bought them to go with this top. <laughs> um, so often with stuff like, you know, really, like if you've got some like magenta pink trousers, I feel like this would go like absolutely gorgeous with them, but also this will go absolutely gorgeous with black skinny jeans, blue skinny jeans, any color skinny jeans, even white skinny jeans. Um, black and white is just timeless, isn't it? And I feel like this is a top that you can have in your wardrobe for years and get so much wear out of it. Um, also love these big chunky bows. I do think it is adjustable, but I don't kind of want to like ruin it done up really nicely um so if you do have like slightly bigger arms you could readjust for your own comfort um there is like a button but i feel like the head hole is pretty big so i don't think you'd need it unless you've got a really really big head <laughs> you have to have a really big head or maybe you've just had a blowout and you don't want to ruin your hair i don't know um it seems quite generously sized kind of like kind of like oversized and slouchy i love that look and obviously we got a bit of a peplum um i'm not going to go into kind of my spiel about peplums again but you heard me <laughs> guess what this is made out of guys i want to hear i want to hear in the comments of what you think this is made out of 100 percent viscous 100 percent viscous uh and i got this as a 24 and you do get a little spare dinky button which is nice feels really nice quality again as always but i think I'm having to go back into the office now and I'm a bit like, uh, about it. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I, I'm, you know, good points and bad points about going to the office. And I'm just all about comfort because I've got to commute quite away at the moment because I'm commuting into London. <sighs> Fun. <laughs> so I'm just like, what's the most comfortable thing I can put on my body for this strenuous journey I'm about to undertake? Um, so all of these things, very, very comfortable. Um, yeah. Let's get it on. Um, so here is this black and white top. And I think we can all safely say that yours have absolutely smashed it out of the park on this haul. Everything just fits really nice. I feel like the quality um, is really, really good. And everything's just like, you look nice in. Like nothing's too like bizarre, but you know, it's just all like comfortable, but pretty clothes. Um, yeah, I think this is just like a perfect little top. Really easy to wear loads of like room and stuff so you're not like ugh um and just looks nice like again with black and white and blue denim just looks so cute i feel like i'm ready to go to a brunch i'm ready to go clove well clove shopping in town there's no place for me to go shop um you know you could even like you know if you've got a casual friday in the office this would look really nice i love the really big bows on the sleeve i think that's just a really nice detail Love the print. I know it's a floral and I think everything I've tried on is a floral, but I feel like every floral is different. Um, and this one's just really nice because it is black and white. Material is really nice quality. I'm not sure it's white, you know, Becky. Well, it, it, it looks just a tad, maybe creamy. I okay, but, but anyway. <laughs> Actually, over here, it looks a bit lilac-y. So oh, all right, a don't start. <laughs> Jesus. It's all one color of perhaps an off-white. Personally, I think it just looks like a It's very white. pretty. I like it. <laughs> um, and it's also a lovely end. Not too long. I remember I had a top once and it was almost down to my knees from yours. So sometimes they can go a bit crazy with the length, but I do feel like this is long enough that it makes you feel comfortable, but not so long it looks like you're wearing a dress with your jeans. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely love it. We're down to the final piece guys and I think this video is going to be about a hundred hours long because I've been really chatty. How chatty have I been guys? Um, I'm sorry if it's annoyed you but I do like chatting to you um, and like having a laugh. So yeah, here you like <laughs> Anyway, I saw this literally on Instagram as I was going to place the order I think and I was like oh, half to have it um so it is it's just a really cute little shirt dress mm. it's giving me 60s it's giving me 1960s kind of like mod vibes i think i might be right i'll ask mum because she's a 60s gal i just love the structured collar um i love 
the little covered buttons again this was from the unedited edit <laughs> and i feel like the quality is just stepped up like the fact is that these buttons are kind of covered by i don't know what this is exactly called but i feel like they're kind of doing stuff that um you know is a little bit elevated some kind of like design elements that are a little bit fancier a little bit new for yours um and i'm a pre i'm here for it i'm appreciating it and there's a little bit of like a flounce to these sleeves we have got a nice little um tie here what size a 24 probably should have got a 26 in this but we might be okay we'll find out won't we that's all that's what, that's what the videos are for for us to all find out if it was the right size it is a shorter length but you guys know I do like a shorter dress um but in the spirit of this video how transitional um black tights in the autumn uh pairing it with a nice little jacket some boots really nice and I think whenever you get some a floral with a black background that's always the key you can wear it in the summer and pick out some of the colors with your accessories like you know white sandals and pinks you know whatever um but then because you've got the black it pairs really nice with black tights and black boots in the winter that's always my advice <laughs> i feel like this whole video is just me giving out unsolicited um, advice um so yeah i think this is stunning i hope it fits if not i'll probably order it in a size up but yeah oh i haven't told you what it's made out of it's definitely viscose um <laughs> 100 viscose I was right oh my god 10 points to becky let's get it on um so here is this little shirt dress and it is super super cute it's definitely given like 60s mod vibes um mom has confirmed <laughs> but yeah you said it it looked like 60s mod yes but the, it was in the 60s it was the mod boys that wore oh a particular style yeah, of shirt I mean. Yes, I know, but it was the boys who wore the shirt look as opposed to the girls. I can't remember really what the girls wore. I think I was more of a hippie. Oh, okay. anyway. Well, anyway, um, it is really, really cute. Would just say though, we've got quite major pulling at the bust. Um, so I probably would just size up in this one. I'd get this in 24. Again, I'm, I'm not too big in the bust. So definitely size up if you are gifted with the movies <laughs> it is a very like stiff material no stretch whatsoever so it does look quite like tailored to fit um so it is super, super pretty it is shorter than i expected i didn't think it was going to be this short but i do think it's really really so it's cute. a good length eh? yeah it's a good length um and yeah the sleeves that's what i was going to say i think the sleeves are so so cute and kind of uh, it's a bit of a juxtaposition with like the really pointed collar with the like really floaty sleeves. I just think it's a really, really different and definitely something different for yours clothing. So I just had to pick it up. Uh, yeah, I think it's really, really pretty and uh, worth a try. So guys, what did you think of that little video? I feel like yours are stepping it up with the quality we've got some really nice design features um and just some really just like cute pieces that i feel like you can wear all year round um yeah i was really really impressed let me know if you do decide to pick anything up always super super curious um and yeah if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up and yeah hope you're all staying safe and well and i'll catch you later bye